I know from a stadium with a reputation for producing one of the liveliest atmospheres in the English game, we're in South London at Selhurst Park. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Crystal Palace versus Everton. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Calvert-Lewin. Really fine initial touch. Conor Gallagher. A very good tackle. Space on the flank. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Well, whenever you're trying to defend against Wilfried Zaha, quite simply, you've got to be on your toes. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, Derek... Oh, sorry, Stuart, look at this! And the keeper there to deal with it. And there's the delivery. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Milivojevic. Conor Gallagher. Firing it in. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Super stop. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And a no-nonsense clearance. Ducure. And now Dominic Carvert-Lewin. Look at Inia. And Everton pushing forward with options available. Gray. Alan. Effective challenge. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. So Palace get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. A very effective clearance. It looks promising. Well, that is how to play advantage. Conor Gallagher. And they'll be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Coleman, Townsend, Gray now, Calvert Lewin, chances on, and a goal! They've added to the lead, much needed security. Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. Oh, a second goal for them here. Sounds in. Promising sequence. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Attacking possibilities for Palace. Now that attack going up a dead end, and the keeper has the ball. Strong play here. Good work from Palace to win back possession. Milivojevic, and they have possession again. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute, and he's in. Still 
a chance. In it goes. A free goal cushion. And you truly sense it's a matter of how many. Well, we can take another look now. It's great interplay between the two of them to start the move off. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. And I think it's fair to say he's had happier days in front of... Well, back underway, and there can be no playing it down. A big gulf between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response from Crystal Palace in the second? And a tidy challenge. Look at Dinia. Keane. Richarlison. And here's Alan. And unable to keep possession. Throw ins given. Connor Gallagher. Read it magnificently and intercepted. He continues his run. But quick thinking defensively. Benteke. Now can they create something? And he's in. Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. Time for a change then. And over comes the corner. Just too much height on that one. Close shave, though. Andre Gomes. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Calvert Lewin. Ducure. Townsend. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Could cross it in here. Townsend. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Substitution, Substitution time it is. Favouring the short one. It's looking promising. Richarlison. On the ball, Davis. Oh, the goalkeeper did well to hang on to that one. well to win the ball back well the stats don't lie Everton have had a lot of possession and have used it really well today particularly in the midfield areas and I expect more of the same as the game goes on and he stopped them just when they looked menacing and a good looking ball he might be able to make it through and this time it's in fabulous goal and just look at the celebrations Well, we can see it again now, and it all starts with the pass over the top. It takes out so many defenders, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Just too much on that pass. Coleman. It will be. Well, nearly there. This game almost over. And looking at the fans, Stuart, they appear to me to be more than a bit gutted. Well, there are two main reasons why they're losing this game. Firstly, they've not shown enough desire to close the opposition down. And secondly, they haven't defended their box well enough. It's been a poor defensive display. Well, it could be on for him here. Firing it towards goal! Well, the shot looked promising, but the keeper had the measure of it. 
Joel Ward. It's with Milivojevic. MacArthur. Won it back. Tom Davis. Here is Digne. And it's Tom Davis. Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. Well, they fancy a short one. Very quick thinking there. Mitchell. And that will be all. A disappointing day at the office for Crystal Palace. A defeat here. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the board in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Well, of course, his finishing could have been better today, but he scored one and made a lot of chances for himself. I thought he was outstanding.